man. It just turned nighttime, like, while I was getting ready to set up, like, recording, and... You know, with the water and the trees and all this mist going around. It might be ether, actually. Uh, it just looks... Mmm. Mmm. Looks beautiful. Anyway, hey everybody, Skyrim here. Welcome back to our episode of Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Uh, you might hear the TV for a second. I just want to make sure everything's muted. Okay, good. It's muted. Alright, uh, welcome back to our episode of Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. In the last episode, we went through the little trial here uh, to open up the pathway for us to go all the way up to the Ryan's ass. I'm kidding, I know. All the way up further, uh, up to the Bionis. And after that, we helped Zazadon and his 50 million quests. Like, literally, we spent, like, maybe 15 minutes on actual story stuff, and the rest of the episode was just Zazadon. But hey, we got it done. Or as much as we could get done. We actually have one quest that we can't do yet, because we haven't found the person he wants us to go talk to. Anyway, this time, we could go forward, but as I said in the last video, no, we ain't doing that. Because we're going to be tackling a uh, pretty major side thing. Probably the biggest side piece of side content that this game has to offer. We're not going to finish all of it, but uh, we'll at least show it off. Because there is something good that I would recommend that you do right now. I mean, I actually, technically, I do this a little bit later. But you know what? For the sake of um, uh, being consistent, we're actually going to take care of it right now. Uh, but there's a couple things you want to make sure before we even get started uh, with doing anything. So we're going to go back to Bionis Leg. And I'm going to head over here to the Jabba's Rock Rest area because... Um, I guess if I have to explain what we're going to be doing today, we're going to be starting the reconstruction of Colony 6, which is a pretty, uh, pretty major chunky thing, and there are, like, like I said before, there are major benefits to actually at least starting it and getting some of it done, so we're going to be hopefully get, trying our best to get all of those benefits done. Wow, 14 hours. Yikes. Um... So first things first, before we do anything about actually the reconstruction of Colony 6, we're gonna I recommend that if there are any time quests... Um, that you need to do, do them now, because the, once you reconstruct Colony 6, all the quests at the refugee camp, uh, become unavailable. So if there's anything you need to be, that, if there's anything that you need to finish, now is the best time, which is what we're going to be starting this video with. So right now I have two quests that I need to do. Being a good grandfather, which requires me to get three sticky web fiber from Arachno on the Bionis leg. And we need to do Collection Quest 1, which requires me to collect two clear almonds from Tefer Cave. So we'll be doing that one second, because first things first... Um... I say first things first a lot. Uh, we're gonna be trying to find that Sticky Arachno Web, and I believe is an area we have not checked out yet. And it is the... Uh, southern part of the Bionis Leg, right over down here. I'm um, actually... Uh, let me just check the map, make sure I'm heading to the right area. Okay, yeah. So down over here, on over on this side of Daleg, um, the Arachno that we are going to want to kill should be around here. So, because I believe this is going to be like a little outcove, or either that, it's going to be over there. Because we hadn't really checked out this area. I was expecting a... No, 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 I was expecting a quest to kind of take us over to this general vicinity, but that never happened. Hey, Light Wisp, I guess if you need the Wisp for that one quest that we did, uh, probably a good place to check. But I believe our destination should be, uh, down there, where we're going to want to get these webs. Um, I am going to check this out over here because I want to see if this is like a, uh... Oh! A surprise quest! Save the girl! Manning and Wolf are closing in on a girl while she bathes. Go and rescue her before it's too late. Uh, did I know that was there? I don't think I did. Huh. Well, it was a good thing I decided to come and check. Let's kill these Wolf. I agree, Ryan. Uh, or Ryan. I agree, dumb man. Let's murder these guys. Yeah, okay. So I didn't do this. Maybe some people in the comments or viewers at home will be like, Why isn't he doing this? Uh... Either I forgot about this, or I actually did not know this existed. But, hey, another time quest that I uh, almost missed out on. Uh, but that is actually kind of a good example of a... Uh, sometimes you'll just get quests by just exploring. You know? That's why they call it a surprise quest. Yeah. Yeah, let's talk to the bathing woman. Th thank you, I thought I was a goner. The wolf surrounded me, I couldn't get out of the water. Well, that's that. 
You're looking very pleased with yourself. I guess you do deserve some of the credit. <gasps> Ooh, their affinity change. Okay, that's actually good. Uh, well, what? Really? Chia Shana. This place is great for bathing, but I'm never coming back by myself. I better get back to the camp. Thanks again. That's one quest down. Diver top, diver bottoms. Oh my god, we can go dipping. Ah, uh, but... It's already daytime? Really? Huh. Um, not complaining, we get to hear the awesome music again. But, uh... Okay, I did not know that that quest was there, like I keep saying. Uh, wow. So either I forgot, or, uh... That's a new one. Actually, I think I maybe I do remember. The Vlow Flare, uh... Actually, maybe, maybe this isn't where I want to go. Hold on. I may have to consult the Xeno Wiki, guys. Yeah, there's the Ether Deposit down here. Unless I, uh... Let me check the map. Well... Hold on. Uh, skill links. Ooh. 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 Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Should probably mess with skill links soon. Uh... Huh. I need, I need to look at, uh... Is there anything I missed, possibly? Sharpa Falls. Sparrow Valley over there. Kiss Cave, Full Flare. No, we... We explored just about everything, really. Unless I'm missing something, like, very major. Uh... I mean, it was good that I came over there anyway. I mean, there, there's just a little piece of land we hadn't explored yet. Uh, I'm gonna consult the wiki, guys. Uh, BRB. Oh my God, I'm a moron. Can you can you guys say moron? I'm an idiot. I don't know why it slipped over my mind. Okay, so where we wanted to actually go is the uh, cave where we went to whatever we did uh, the first quest with uh, our good pal Ernest. Uh, right there in the Kiss Cave. That's actually where we want to go. See, I, I mean, I guess it worked out in the end. Surprise quest. We did it. You know, I, I can't complain. I, I can't complain. I will actually mess with the time a little bit here. Uh, at the camp just to double check to make sure I did absolutely everything, but I think Voice crack. I think I think we did just about everything. I mean by completing this quest this might actually unlock more, but uh, uh We'll see you know Because I got that quest like later down the road and I Think it completely slipped my mind. I thought we had like done everything Everything Two Queen Locusts. Guys, two Queen Locusts. Like, it's good, guys. Oh, it's thundering, dude. If we didn't kill the White Eduardo, like, you know... It would've been insane. Oh, my God. I uh, sneeze. Or it feels like I have to sneeze. Alright, Kiss Cave. Chris Kringle. Yes. I don't know why the quest marker never showed up on the map. Okay. Legorak, though. Uh, let me sword drive you to death. Beautiful. But you didn't have what I wanted. Hopefully there's more. Of course there's gonna be more, guys. Of course there's gonna be more. I love sword driving you guys to death. It's fun. It's fun. Check this out. Doesn't even take... Takes like a second. Sticky web fiber. Okay, that's one... It's one leg fiber. Oh, oh my god, he lived! Got the second one. Uh, wrong thing. Will this be our third one? Nah. Alright, buddy. 
Uh, sword drive from behind. Dang it, man. Dang it. We got two out of three. I mean, that ain't bad, but, like, you know. You want more. You want more fiber. So when that happens, you just teleport to Camo's Guidepost, and then you go walk all the way back. Uh, because it's probably going to take a hot minute, I am going to cut away until I get the third one. See you guys in a moment. Uh, okay, well, I got the fiber, but I also got an achievement, the walking except, uh, insect tide. I think that's just by killing a lot of insects. Alright, so we got that. Now we can head back to the refugee camp. Go back and we could talk to good old Satata. Fred's got the sticky web fibers. Satata will get right on fixing that toy. You shall wait here for Satata. Excuse me, Satata means please wait here. They doubted Satata, but Satata showed them all. Now to get the toy to Kuroki. He should be at the one that returns, as it, returns it as he's the one who broke it. It's times like this when the little things matter the most. Nikita only has his toy to remember his mama upon by. Now two little prawns, friendship, and a cherished keepsake are saved. Please take the toy to him. Alright, we got the fixed toy. So now we're gonna go talk to good old-fashioned Kuroki. Fred, have something for Kuroki? Wow! Grappy Pond Satata fix it? Nikita's mama upon got him this toy for his number five birthday. It's really important to him. Thank you so much for bringing it to Kuroki. Kuroki going to go and apologize to Nikita right away. Bye bye! It's beautiful, guys. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Alright, Tata. You gave it to Kuroki? Satata can't wait to see the smile on Kuroki's face. Satata is probably happier than, than Kuroki at this good news. Well, that's that. Friends, take this as a token of gratitude. It might come in useful in your travels. You should have done this like 10 million years ago, but you know what? Better late than later. later. Or better late than never. Initial tension 3. Okay, not bad. Oh, he's got another quest for us. Okay. Oh, it's you, friends. Actually, something else is bothering me. Do you mind if I talk to you about it, friends? We are making great efforts to be self-sufficient here. Fortunately, a monster has moved into the lake where we fish. That's a bit of a pain. It is a problem. Can you believe our luck? If the things continue like this, we will all starve. Somebody has to do something about it. That's not good. I turn right back for one minute and this is what happens. I'm really sorry, Satata. It's not your fault, Charla. No one blames you for not being here. You had your reasons and you don't let anyone tell you different. It makes me happy to hear that. Right, we really do need to do something about that monster. We need Fred's help before we all starve to death. Those fish were our best source of nutrients since arriving here. Help us get our fish back. Abnormal Brog Lake, uh, or near, Abnormal Brog Lake, though, no, Abnormal Brog near Ragnarok Lake on Bionis Lake. Okay. So that's a new friends would help us. Good luck out there. No sweat. We'll be done before you know it. You sound very confident, Ryan, but stay focused. I know, I know. Alright, let's go kill this Brog. Let's go get these squad ones for the, for the crew tonight. Let's get these squad wins for the crew tonight. Alright, so where's this abnormal brog? Uh, let me check the quest log. Uh, not that one. Uh, let's see, so the green monster. Abnormal brog near Ragwell Lake on Bionis Lake. Okay. Let me change the time. So it can stop raining, and maybe that'll maybe that has something to do with it. Uh, let's see, abnormal broad. Where are you? Okay, he's down there. Is that him right there? Yep, that's him. How much about a single sword drive will assassinate him? How much you think? How much you want to bet? Million dollars? Let's find out. Ah, uh, about half. Can't complain. Suck on this! Yeah, it really isn't. Alright. 
Well, that takes care of that, so now let's head back to the refugee camp. Where is Satata? There you are, Satata. Ah! Uh, Ryan turned around and he's now looking away. He's like, I ain't talking to you, Satata. Satata knew friends could get rid of that monster. I trust you more than any other to get job done. That's why Satata placed the fate of our camp in your capable hands. Words cannot, can't express how grateful we are to you, friends. Well, that's that. Yes, our work here is done. Take this small token of thanks. Thank you, my friends. Now, where is Q for today's place of fish? Sleep resist 2. Is that it? That seems like it's it. Now, we're not done yet. We need to go back to Tefra Cave to check on a little something. Gotta get those clear almonds. And then I think we will be done with everything we need to do. I didn't think it would take this long. I thought it was just one quest and another quest and then just stuff kept on piling on. You know, I want to come back into Tefra Cave because possibly... Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Right there. Right there. Our key to victory is right here. Man, we guys, we haven't been here since, like, episode 8. It's episode 23 now, guys. Isn't that just crazy? We really come far. We really come far. I'm proud. There I go freaking doing that again. I need to stop that. Alright, alright. No more reflecting. We'll do that. I don't know, episode 40 or something like that. Every 20 episodes, I'll do a little reflection. Alright, got lots of item orbs. That's one clear almond. Uh, let's see. Ooh, there's a second one on the leg pass. I think. If so, then that's pretty swell. That solves everything. Hey, there it is. Do that, and I think that is everything. Awesome. The Insanity Mint. Take this mint. Uh, let me check our, uh, Collectopedia just for the heck of it. Uh, ooh. The Shin Gecko? Gecko? Ooh. Ooh. I bet you that clear almond's the thing we need, or is it? I don't know. Yeah, the clear almond was the one thing we needed to 100%. <gasps> Matt Ice. Don't know if we needed that for something or not, but... Uh, Colony 6, I wanted to wait on. Uh, ooh, I never looked at the ether mine. I wanted to wait on that too. Ah. I thought we 100%ed freaking Satoru Marsh. Uh, probably after we do... All this questing. Uh, we'll probably do Collectopedia. Alright, refugee camp. There's one last thing I want to come back here for. Before we get started with the main attraction. I'm going to change the time a little bit. Just to check, but I think... We've cleared just about everything. But there's one last thing I want to check. This heart to heart. I brought mention to it uh, a long time ago, but now that Ryan and Sharla's uh, affinity actually finally reached green level, um, we can finally check it out. What's on Ryan's mind? It's been a while since our last heart to heart anyway. Can I tell you something? When I heard you called Juju Kid, it made me smile. It did? I thought you were going to shout at me or something. No, actually, when you got angry at Juju, it reminded me of Gatto. That's why it made me smile. Ah, uh, so it's about Gatto. Hey, between me and Gatto, who would win in a fight? Uh, Gatto, of course. Oh. Oh, great. That's really nice of you, Sharla. He's the best Sean by honest. He'd snipe you before you had time to tie your shoelace. Come on, Sharla. In a straight-up fight, no one can beat me. True. A punch from you would send anyone to the a and &E for a week. Anyway, who's going to start a fight with the Mighty Rhine? Um, there is someone, kinda. Someone I've never won a fight against. Uh... You don't mean Shulk? Um, not Shulk. Shulk would never take me on. You're probably right. He's too puny to beat you. There's this one time, though. We got into a scuffle. He ain't got my size or build, but his jab is quick and powerful. 
I see. Sounds like a good tactic for Shulk. A clever fighter always uses his head to defeat an opponent. Hey, I can use my head in a fight. Just not always my brain. You might not be the quickest thinker, but you act decisively. Right? I'm no sharpshooter like Gatto, but I've got my own style. You can look at me when you're in a jam, Charla. I'll be there. I know you will. I won't forget. I knew I was going to fail at one of these at some point. Again, I try not to do these, like, look at a guide when doing these, so I wasn't sure about that one off the top of my head. But hey, if you want 100%, you do have to fail at one. But at least they do give you a little bit of affinity at the end of the day, like a big giant heart. So at least you do gain some no matter what you do. But I saw I saw the I saw our affinity go down and then go back up, which was funny. Uh, oh my God, Ryan and Dumban are more tight than Shulk and Dumban. I'm not sure how to feel about that, but that's funny. That is rather funny. Uh, okay. Uh, wow. Look look at all these friends, guys. They're friends again. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, I love it. All right. So, uh, because I want the Bionis leg music, ah, no, I'm kidding, whatever. Uh, now time for the main, the main attraction of today. We're going to Watchpoint Junction right now. Because Conjunction Junction, what's your function? To get into the real meat and potatoes of Colony 6. I don't think we're actually going to get started on the reconstruction today, but we might get, we'll have it to where we unlock the ability to start reconstruction. How about that? I'd say that's a good starting point. Or good end goal, I should say. I don't know, maybe we'll go into it. And see what we can do. But as we can see now, the gate is open. Guys, the gate. Guys. Guys, the gate. The gate. What is this, Tales of Legendia? Oh my god, it's a grand gate. I'm gonna get my sacred heirs. Because I'm Moses Sandor. The Verdant Eternity. So wowie zowie, now we got a new spot to explore, guys. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's a, whole, it's a whole new world out there. It's a whole new world. The cute orchid. Or orchid. Uh, the spirit clematis. Oh, here we got a Napa merch. Oh, you know what I should have checked? I should have checked the freaking, uh... Uh, back at the refugee camp. We'll have a chance to go back there, but I want to check uh, the art books. You got anything? Ooh. Metal Blast. Don't mind if I do. Engage. Heal Round. Sword Dry. Oh, Sword Dry Berserker, guys. And Last Stand. Oh, my God. Sword Dry can get even more powerful. I didn't think that was possible, but uh, it's possible. All right, let's, let's, let's look at that. I won't level them up right away, but ooh, guys. Got you guys. This is like, this is like a game changer right here. I should check the refugee camp. I'll do that uh, in a minute. Cause our main, our main point of attraction, where we want to go, uh, is right about here, at the main entrance of Colony Six. But we have a quest from a Thoron. Yes. We want to rebuild Colony 6 and restore it to its former glory. To do that, we'll need to move everyone back from the camp. But Ragwell Br Bridge has been taken back, taken by a pack of ferocious monsters. So now no one can cross it. That's a bit of a pain. It is indeed a problem. That bridge is the only way to move the refugees back safely. With them stuck on one side and me on the other, we're all stuck. Can you eliminate the monsters on Ragwell Bridge for us? So we have to destroy or defeat Black Smoke Hoxes, six of them. Thank you, I knew you would. Just secure the bridge. Once you have done that, inform Juju at the camp. I'll be waiting here. We'll begin rebuilding the colony when everyone has returned. I'm counting on you. No sweat, we'll be done before you know it. Ryan, I admire your spirit, but we have to be careful. Oh yeah, I totally agree. I'll be leaving that stuff to you. Alright. Before we go forward, we're gonna go... Back to the refugee camp just to check on the shop. Just out of morbid curiosity. Just out of morbid curiosity, guys. We got a curious case here. I just gotta know what our good pal shop is selling. Oh, wow. 
Thunder Bullet. Yes, please. Cure Bullet. Okay. Aura Burst. Shield Bullet. All right. Don't mind if I do. Stream Edge. War Swing. Heal Bullet. Tranquilizer. I am so broke, I can't even afford it. How the hell did I get this broke? This never happened to me. I know I could sell loot and shit, but uh, I didn't need to say that. Oh, well, okay, I'll have to remember to... You know what? Look at that, guys. No. No, I refuse. Uh, let's see. Uh, at least they, like, uh... They tell you. Do I have anything, like, valuable? I guess I got a couple things, but, uh... I don't want to sell anything, though. No. Uh... I guess I'll look at, like, things I have in excess. I won't sell everything, I guess, but, like... I'll just kind of, like, do, like, a, a batch of certain things. I just need something to help my addiction, guys. Like, don't judge me. Do not judge me. I just see enough to buy stuff. The ratio glyph? Oh my god, guys. Ratio. Alright, I think this might be good. Okay, so I need... I only needed four more. Okay. Heal Blast, Guard Shift, and Shadow Eye. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. So sweet. Now Charlotte's gonna be healing even more. Shulk's gonna be air slashing even more. It's it's a good day to be alive, guys. It's a good day to be alive. How are we doing on points? Not too great, actually. I make it sound like we're doing bad. We're not. We, we ain't doing bad. You know what? Let me check. Do we... Who do we need for this one? We'll... De we'll like I said, we'll probably be doing a... I might have said this before, but we'll be... I can view hair to the Monado? Okay. Forget helping people at Ragworld Bridge or just clear out monsters. We gotta see hair to the Monado. Let's see if I can do this one well or not. Something up, Dumban. Losing your home is a painful experience and not lightly forgotten. The people of Colony 6 have had a rough time of it. Exactly. We could have lost our homes to the Mechon just as easily. If it wasn't for you. Me? I was as useful as a wolf cub. My ego needs no massaging. That ain't what I meant. We look up to you, dumb man. You're a bona fide hero. Just think of all that stuff you did at the Battle of Sword Valley. Some hero, but I appreciate the sentiment. I think you're getting things a bit mixed up, though. I didn't save Kali and I when the Mechon attacked. Shulk did. Yep, he sure did. I'll never forget that day as long as I live. Shulk wielded the Monado, sent shivers down my spine. Yeah, he took the cursed sword like fries to a brog. Made me wish I could use it. The feel of the Monado is unlike any other sword. I know that more than anyone. It is the true sword of a hero. No, that's not what I meant. I think about your arm and about everything Shulk's been through. If I could stand in Shulk's place right now, I would. In a second. Such loyalty is to be admired. I don't get it. I mean it right, that your closeness to Shulk is a good thing. Never let that friendship die. Why so serious all of a sudden? You're not wrong, though. Me and Shulk are good friends. Best friends. Still, there is no point in thinking about what ifs. The sword chooses its wielder. Maybe it was even lying in wait for him to come all along. The time has passed for anyone but him to wield that sword. Yeah, I guess you're right. If you ask me, the current situation isn't too bad. And Shulk knows all too well how much you care about him. Although he might not say it out loud. I guess. Well, if Shulk, uses the, well, if Shulk is the sword, I'll just have to be his shield. Now you're thinking along the right lines. It's about how we support him. 
This is why Hearts of Hearts are so good. Like, they give some insight on everything. It's like, it's really wholesome. Now to the main attraction of the day, Ragnarok Bridge. Here are all the hoxes that we need to kill. Black Smoke Hoxes. Level 30. This ain't gonna be easy since there are six of them. This is why I'd say maybe don't do Colony 6 Reconstruction right away. Or like, well, actually no, this is why they open it up right now because uh, we're a good level. We're a good level for this and so far we're, we are shredding them. Take care of them. Go for a sword drive. Let's make sure we get all the aggro on us. We don't want Ryan or Sharla, or not, Dumban or Sharla, uh, falling victim to the attack of the ele enemies. You know. A dive sabat! Uh, let's go for a chain attack, why not? Go for a hammer beat. Uh, go for a metal blast. Uh, dumb band, you can go for a uh, electric gut buster. Ooh, go for another one. I'll go for a sword drive. Haha, -ha, in your face. Well, I was expecting a little bit more of a struggle here, but uh, so far not not so bad. There we go. Uh, I did not mean a story bomb. Oh, there's more. Got white smoke hoxes. I knew there was more to it. It slipped my mind. Yeah. There's more to it than meets the eye. We got these guys to deal with now. They're a little bit tougher, but if you play your cards right, you shouldn't have too much trouble. And again, as with many battles like this, uh, if you can kill one, you're basically making the battle easier for you. Which, I mean, you know, that's common sense. Uh... Charlotte does have the aggro, and I don't like that. We don't like that, so I need to get a, a mad taunt going. So we can get everyone on Ryan. Yo, stop assaulting Charlotte. We don't like this. I'm not mean to do that. Okay, kill two. Uh, Charlotte was taken down. Let's survive. This ain't good. Tail spike. Okay, I ain't gonna do too much, thankfully. Oh my god, we exploded them. Seven health, oh my god. Uh, this ain't good. Damn. Yes! Side swipe at the function. Alright. Alright, I think we need to employ other strategies. Dumban didn't die, he's the only survivor. Now, at least we did kill some of them. Uh, let's switch it up a little bit. Let's go... Let's get, uh... Shulk in here. Just for funsies. Uh, let me get you. Ooh, actually we're only fighting one at a time. Or two at a time. Now we're getting started. The Shul Shulk's got the moves. Okay. Good. Oh yeah, I, I guess while I'm doing this I'll tell a story. I saw John Oppenheimer today. A uh, pretty good movie. No, I'm not, I'm not, like, the biggest... Well, I, I'm not gonna say Christopher Nolan's a bad director. He ain't. Like, his cinematography is pretty good. But, uh... His movies are just so damn long. Like, I feel like Oppenheimer could easily, like, cut down, like, 40 minutes of it. And still have the same effect. Okay, buddy. Uh, it still have, like, the same, like, impact. And not, not to say it was bad, though, because, like, at least, like, at least... Even if his movies are long, it's like, uh... You know, he can, like... He at least makes good use of that extra time, I guess, I, is what I'm saying. Like, it, it didn't feel like my time was wasted, but I feel like... Could it have been shorter? Yeah, but, like, was it good? Yeah, it, it was good. I liked it. 
Although I, I, my favorite Christopher Nolan movie is something uh, I actually saw in theaters again, or something I've never seen before, but it was in theaters. Uh, they, they, uh, a theater we go to. Uh... Damn! Revive me so I can get a shield going. I did not mean to to do that. I'm gonna get that. Get a heal on Ryan. So all can be well in the world. And this should uh, just about take care of it. Alright, the road home. Now we get to bask in all of this loot. Oh man, look at that. Good stuff. Holy shit. Dang! Dang! My buddy Blake, when he watches Alpha and Omega, dang! Dude, oh my god. Dude, I, I gotta take a look at this. I'm gonna need to sneak a peek. Okay, I think now we can go talk to Juju. Uh, let's see, uh, Shulk got a new skill, Charlotte got a new skill, Ryan got a new skill. Okay, okay. I need to take a look at what the heck I just got. Okay, not the leather cap. No one can make use of that. Although we can make Charla, I think, look like a pirate. Yeah, pirate Charla. The mist gel. We could give the mist gel to her, but eh, I don't know. I don't know. Nothing changes. It's just if you want to make her naked. Uh, oh, oh wait, no, we already have the jungle cap on. Dumb, dumbon. Uh, let's see. The general's attire, mist oil. The swept gauntlets. Regnus. I mean, nothing we haven't seen before. All these ranger tops, though. Got weapons I don't even need. Weapons that aren't Gato's rifle. Man, it's just like... We're doing good, guys. Alright, so now that we got that cleared out and taken care of, uh, I'm gonna go back to the... To how it was in the old days. Yeah, there we go. Um, well, actually, I, I want Dumban and Shulk to get some affinity, so I think. Ron, yeah, your time to shine. Uh, we'll get Shulk back in the lead. Why not? Uh, go to refugee camp. And we can go talk to Juju. Little Juju over here. Now, listen, this is the point where I say. Charla, why are you, you... I guess Charla's excited to see Juju. Uh, this is the point where I say, if you need to do any more quests and call it in the refugee camp, do them now. Because once you talk to Juju and clear everything up, you cannot do these quests again. But if you were following along and you were grinding up for Zord, uh, you shouldn't have uh, that issue. So let's talk to Juju. Right. You got rid of all the monsters at Ragwell Bridge. Now everyone can go back home to Colony 6. Thank you so much. Going back to Colony 6 will solve all the problems we had here. Once we leave, we won't come back here again. Shall we go now? We can wait for you if there are still things you need to do. Let's go. Okay, we'll move out right away. We'll need some help to rebuild Colony 6 when we get there. Get EXP up one gem and AP one up gem. I need to be even stronger. Got generous friend. I don't know what that is, but uh Yeah. So here we have Colony Six. Which a Thoron, what do you have to say? Makes me happy to see everyone back from the camp again. The young and older here, but we'll still be needing your help. So uh Colony Six. Uh did I just call it Colony 6? No. Colony 6. By talking to Juju, uh... Yeah, we can do it. This'll be what we ended off on. 
It's time to rebuild our colony, but we pretty much lost everything we had. At least this building is intact. We'll use it as our headquarters. It'd be much harder to rebuild everything from scratch, though. So we're going to need your help. How about it? To begin, we'll need materials, collectibles, and money. Just come and see me whenever you're free to help out. Uh, money? Don't worry, a thorn has left me in charge of the reconstruction. Reconstructing Colony 6. Help make Colony 6 great again. Uh, so we can hit, uh, level up uh, multiple districts here in Colony 6 for reconstruction. Housing, which increases the population, lets you invite more people to live in the colony. Uh, commerce, we can make uh, new shops open. We can also uh, level up nature, which lets you obtain higher ranked crystals from the mine. And we can also have a special category, which greatly increases the overall completion percentage and also lets you obtain more collectibles. And we can also check on Colony 6 progress uh, using the quest log. So by talking to Juju, uh, we can talk, uh, see what we can reconstruct. Oh, we don't got the money. We are going to have to sell some stuff, but... Oh, we don't have everything. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's start off with some housing. So we have different categories. We're going to need some um, um, materials uh, in order to do this. But... Um, so right now we're going to do uh, housing. Increase the housing level. So housing level increased by one. We built we've built three houses. Reach for the sky. Okay, now, nah. and we get the achievement of fixer upper. So by doing this, uh, I believe does that open up anything for us? Uh, let me look around. So now things are looking a little bit better. Got a colony six resident vibe in there. So the special category is probably going to be something. So we can upgrade three parts of it. I just need the money. Which is, you know, it will be a struggle, but we can do it. But there is the merchant over here, so we can, we can go speak to them. So we'll upgrade what we can, and then uh, we'll probably uh, skedaddle for the day. That, that that had been the plan. The White Knight Rod. So, uh, let me take a look at my quest log then. Uh, Colony 6. So, we have the Road Home. Which we did. Uh, proof of Status, Secret Mission. Secret Mission? No, Secret Mission and Safety First. Spirit Clematis. Alright. Alright, buddy. Up on Merchant. I am want to sell some stuff. Uh, let's make some quick cash. Let's see here. Uh, don't want to sell any quest items, but... Oh, gosh, this is going to dig into my pocket. Maybe I shouldn't have bought arts. Kind of... What I say regret? Uh, I don't know. Sell an extra one of those. Uh, just trying to make sure everything's good. I am not selling the ratio glyph, guys. I can't do it. I don't have the. I don't have the strength to do it. All right, made some money, made some dough. Let's go back to talk to Mr. Juju. Oh, quests. Nice. Uh, we'll probably get into those uh, later, uh, because I just want to make sure we do everything right. Uh, Bunny of Scentwood and Fossil Monkeys. Ooh, ah, I'm kidding. Uh, uh, 10,000, 5,000. Did I not have enough money still? Hold on. How, mu how much money do I have? I'm short by a little bit. Okay, you know what? Fine. We'll reconstruct uh, the commerce uh, next. So we get some shops in here.
Commerce level increased by one. Three shops have been built. A new shop is available in Colony 6. Alright, and I don't think I have enough money, right? Uh, oh wait, no I do. Okay, I misread that. Whoopsies. I will have enough money, guys. Yay, we can get the nature up, too. So by doing, uh, reconstructing Colony 6, you can get new quests, you can get, meet new people. It's worth your time to do it. Do I think we'll be doing all of it, though? Probably not, but we will show off the major... I do recommend you do it at least a little bit. At least get everything to level 1, because the reward you get for getting everything to level 1 is super good. But there are quests around available to us. And at least Colony 6, for right now at least, it's looking a little bit better. So, we finished up everything we needed to do at the refugee camp, and we opened the way for people to start coming over here to Colony 6 as we begin the reconstruction process. With that being said, next time on Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition... We're going to try to make more progress towards the reconstruction of Colony 6, as well as possibly going all, uh, taking on some new quests and trying to earn some more dough. And possibly going into one of the biggest rewards that you could possibly get from Colony 6. Reconstruction. See you guys then.